Essence Lifestyles TV. I know I have not been here for a while. Um, I know you can probably notice a different background set up. We've been doing a lot and the it's just been a big journey. Last time you saw me, um, I was 260 pounds. As you can see now, I am 181. So that is a big change. I cut all my hair off. Um, yeah, a lot has happened. And this video is just going to showcase some of those things. And some exciting news is I decided to bring my husband in to be a part of the show. And so now the show is no longer... <laughs> bloopers so now the show is no longer jasmine's lifestyles tv but life be life in with the smiths and i'm really excited to bring him in because it was a lot of like stress on me to just try to like create content and then also creating content that had him had something to do with him was a big controversy um, because people thought that I was saying things without his permission and, you know, just doing a lot of stuff that I was not doing. He has been supporting me 10 times down this entire time. And so I'm really excited to be able to bring him in. But in this video, you will see me getting my hair cut off and let's just, let's just roll the clip. So we are in the car currently. I'm about to go to Fudge House to get my hair cut. This is really cringy because why are my chewing this food this hard? It's raw and uncut now. I'm a little nervous. I really don't know how to feel. Oh, I just know how to feel. I don't know what it's going to look like. Everything I do in my life has to have, like, um, it has to have, um, I have to have a vision. If I don't have a vision, like at all, if I can't Pinterest it, I think that's why I was so nervous about this last event because I couldn't picture nothing that I wanted. Like, I couldn't see it, you know, and like feed off that. So, I'm really learning, like, to trust my intuition and, like, believe in yourself, like, believe in Jasmine. So, something is telling me to take the leap. I'm not about to do it. So I want to pause it because, like, so, yes, I had weight loss surgery. Um, I knew that there was a possibility that my hair could fall out, but I was just like, fat hair. Because <laughs> um, for those who don't know, I was struggling with PCOS, um, and that came with a lot of different things with um, irregular cycles. Um, unwanted facial hair which I'm still struggling with to this day it has um, reduced dramatically I also had like a lot of just overgrowth in here like just in this area like on my arms on my legs but I've seen a really big reduction um, I have I know this is like TMI but I'm so excited to have regular cycles again and to be able to like I feel it like I feel that I can have a baby not that I want a baby right now but like that was like a big thing I did it you know like to be so young and to be told that you can't have a child and to be this early in a marriage and not be able to give your husband that anyway just not being able to um you know just have children is like a big thing i also was diagnosed with diabetes um during that time it was just a really big situation like the weight had piled on of course like you're gonna see the weight before on somebody else before you see it on yourself and so like i was just kind of seeing trey and i was like if he looks like that, what do I look like? You know? And so, like, not even to be mean, but just basically, like, that's how I feel. So, how did Jasmine weight loss surgery, how did you feel about it? Like, her decision to do that? Well, at first, I kind of didn't 100% agree with it because I'm the type of person to be like, you want to lose weight, just work out. 
But when we actually sat down and talked, she was telling me what she was going through. Doctor said she couldn't have children. And so I understood why she wanted to get the surgery because it's, it's more than just weight loss. You know, she was diagnosed with diabetes. So we just, we just trying to live a healthy lifestyle and try not to try not to die early, you know, because we got a long line of diabetes in both of our families, actually. So, and it actually it helped me in the long run. She got the surgery, so the stuff she eat now, I eat. Like she said, she's 181 now. I was 330 at one time. Well, damn. I'm sorry. And now I went down to 265. So. After my wife told me that the doctor says that she could not have kids, it's a big fear. Because building with somebody, growing and learning with somebody, learning to love, going and getting married to someone, and the doctor said you can't have children, is scary. Because, of course, when you're together, you go going to imagine each other, you know, having kids, of course. So when she was like, the doctor said she possibly couldn't have children, it was like, What should we do? Like, because we believe in God always got the last word. The doctor says she can't have kids. Okay, so what we need to do to have kids, you know? So yeah, so since Jam got the surgery, she's got her regular cycles back. And I think, I think she can have children. Her doctor says she's real fertile. But we're still being careful and not saying we don't want kids, but we still, you know, in grind mode right now. But yeah, that's that's good to know. But now we just gotta be extra careful. And in this video, you see him picking my hair out and like I don't know if you can see it, but like hair was just like like it was just flying out onto the floor and we're gonna insert a picture right here with me holding all of my hair and like I'm smiling but I'm crying and inside like for real for real like I was sick to my stomach every time I wash my hair I I would be in full-blown tears and like Dre was trying to console me it was no consoling like and I kept trying to say, I am not my hair. But like, I'm like, but you're holding on to it. Like, and I just felt like the hair was just like, like something that should have been like a beautiful caterpillar to a butterfly experience was like a roach. Like I just, like I, it messed me up so bad mentally to see all the hair in the tub, so. Two, three. Oh my god. Oh, this is a lot. Um oh, this is a lot. Oh, this is a lot. Mm -hmm. You don't like it? Mm -hmm. This is a lot. Okay. Too much dog? No, I just, this is just... It is different. Oh, this is just a lot. Um... Look how smiley your face is. I understand. No. So, let me talk about this reaction. Before, so, I've never seen my sister with short hair. I've never had short hair. I've had, like, hair here. That's the shortest I've ever had in my hair, but I've always had hair. Um, this was a big shock for me, and I genuinely hated it, like hated it, because when I think of short hair, and this is just like my own stigma, and um, I kind of speak on why I feel like that later, but like this is my truth. So when I think of short hair, I think of masculinity. There's nothing feminine about it. There was nothing feminine about it to me originally. So like I'm trying to be okay. I don't want to hurt his feelings because like you can tell 
like this a friend so like and it was nothing that he had done he had done exactly what i told him to do but when jasmine cut her hair i was kind of relieved because y'all don't know what we went through the picture that she showed y'all her holding her hair that was like the second time or the third time that happened and she just be crying my hair falling out and then she was like what can she do she taking different type of vitamins they not working so she came to the realization like i should cut my hair and i was like okay because you know i don't, I don't see nothing wrong with short hair short hair you know so we go get the hair cut she got a cut now the first time i actually liked the hair she didn't like it I ain't gonna tell y'all what she told me, cause she was cussing everybody out in the house, everybody. But when Fudd, the barber named Fudd, our homeboy, when he fixed it, she started loving it again. And then she just started taking care of her hair, started feeling more confident, wearing it out. And now she got it even lower, you know? She just, I'm just happy to see her happy. Say the Yeti up in there. The new jazz. Mm. International. <laughs> so that concludes today's episode. Thank you guys for tuning in. Life be life. Life be life.